people move in city environments. Uh, a lot of times people talk about congestion. They just, they see the problem, it's, it's happening. So they want to bring another solution. Think about what's the root cause, what's the root of the problem, what's the true needs of the transportation. So essentially, the reason why we create the Vola is like we want to make fly like the most nature thing you can do. We are quite a diverse international team. Uh, we, are, we started off in London. Uh, we have based in London, uh, in Taiwan and also in Dubai. Um, we are working on multiple projects, having two prototypes in hand tested. Um, we are building our third prototype um, and there are a lot of projects coming on to be revealed. The world is very used to ground transportation. Most transportation is moving uh, from the ground. City environments are growing, people are growing, um, cities are growing taller and taller, more complex environments, more problems, more opportunities. Uh, people want to explore, people want to try, people want to have options of moving around to different places. You need to have better solutions. But these are the things or, or the challenges that is definitely worth looking into and worth taking. Um, and that is the reason why we started off from uh, targeting very specifically on this issue. Is it impossible to have the air traffic in the city environment or we just don't have the proper solution for it? So we came up with a concept, Volar. Volar is a new category of transportation named by Bellwether. It's, it means private urban aircraft. When we look at is that uh, mainly for the city use, that is because now that's the most challenging things to do, right? We don't have that accessibility. We have the long-term uh, journey, we have a long-way travel, so you can take aircraft from the country to country, but we still couldn't just solve the congestion in the city. So that's why we need to just have that accessibility much more, so this is why we have the Volo. The name Volar is based on Latin and Spanish. It has the meaning of to fly. We hope to make this name simple and easy to remember. And it's a category of transportation like SUV cars. We need to target the user very specifically. That these are the people that is suffering, that is causing congestion, and they want solutions for it. So these are the people actually traveling for short distance, for day-to-day -day commutes, for agility, for flexibility, and they want to have their personal space. And that is bringing in the value of private transport and also what we are targeting right now for people to have options, which is not really commonly seen right now out there um, on the market. It's a medium between you and the environment, and that's the most um, easiest thing you can do. So you don't even need to think about the obstacle. It's a challenge regardless, and change is never easy, and nobody's used to it. So I think that is something we're all prepared to accept. Um, it's just if you have the will to kind of run through that, that change that's needed, and, and I think the ethics to develop responsibly and then to test safely, super important. The Bellwether project and the Velar project is a very interesting one because it works very well obviously with our aerospace department but also with the group as a whole involving some marine technologies. 
And overall, it's a project that excites us very much. It's challenging, it's pushing towards innovation, and it's what gets us up in the morning and gets us to work. Enata Aerospace decided to partner with Bellwether Industries because I saw some uh, potential for great synergies between uh, the two companies. Uh, we uh, provided uh, insight on how to make the Antelope project airworthy. The Antelope project is the reduced scale version of the Volar flying car. Uh, we, uh, once we had uh, decided on how to be enable the flying of that car, we then uh, built a reduced scale prototype from carbon fiber and uh, started uh, doing uh, some uh, demo flights in partnership with Bellweather Industries. If people can't accept it or imbibe it, then it's never going to happen. We've had multiple examples of um, technology coming out into the world and people not liking it, and then subsequently them dying and, and disappearing. With aviation, it's a bit different. Um, helicopters have taken a lot of time to get to a point where you're okay with one or two of them flying over your head in the day. So acceptance is, is, is paramount in terms of the fact that we have to look into people's psychology a lot, lot more and see what disturbs their lifestyle and what doesn't. Instead of looking for a very good technologies to, to think uh, how to make the vehicle achievable, we need, to, we, we need to look at how to make it intuitive to people. No one did that before. But well, it's not just an aircraft manufacturer. Uh, we are actually at a pivotal point of moving into a brand new page of our own history. With the elevation of the group structure, there are going to be new reveals around new designs, new brands, etc. So it is a really exciting time for us. What we want is to stay better connected and communicated with the general public. It is really important for us to look at creating a new lifestyle and ecosystem. Our vision is actually to inspire the world to think about what the true need in our daily life was the definition of a better life. What can bring more value to our world to have more possibilities? Bellwether's vision is to disrupt, to inspire.